where it projects a hyperactive season referred to as potentially extraordinary. Kind regards, today is Saturday, May 25, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In exactly seven days, the 2024 hurricane season officially begins in the Atlantic Ocean Basin. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Pacific region, the hurricane season started on May 15. Although there is currently no suspicion of cyclonic development in the Eastern Pacific or the Atlantic, between the first and second week of June, we will be watching the area east of Central America and Southern Mexico, as there are indications that low-pressure systems could develop in these areas. If you want to know more details about when the probability of development increases, I invite you to look for a video I recently recorded on my YouTube channel. However, the main intention of this video is to talk about the forecast published by NOAA last Thursday, regarding the cyclonic activity anticipated in the Atlantic region. As you should know, we have been talking for several weeks and months about some indicators suggesting that the 2024 hurricane season could be more active than usual in the Atlantic Basin. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Pacific region, it could be near or below normal. First, we will talk about NOAA's forecast for the Atlantic Basin, where they project a hyperactive season referred to as potentially extraordinary. In the second part of the video, we will talk about the Eastern Pacific region where less cyclonic activity than usual is expected. We will discuss the possible effects this could have on the Mexico and Central America region. Before continuing and as we are a week away from the official start of the hurricane season, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to the bottom of the video to the red button that says subscribe, click on it, and then click on the bell so you don't miss any of the videos I record. By subscribing, you help this project reach more people. Without further ado, let's look at NOAA's official forecast for the 2024 hurricane season. In this image, you can see the forecast for the Atlantic region. NOAA is projecting an 85% chance that this hurricane season will be more active than usual, a 10% chance that it will be near normal, and only a 5% chance that it will be below normal. Additionally, NOAA is projecting between 17 to 25 tropical storms, between 8 to 13 hurricanes, and of these, between 4 to 7 could be Category 3, Category 4, or Category 5 hurricanes. This is an impressive forecast, and the most aggressive that NOAA has issued for a May forecast. For perspective, normally, there are 14 tropical storms, 7 hurricanes, and 3 of these are major hurricanes. So, like other groups and experts, NOAA is also predicting a hyperactive season. Let's delve a bit into the different parameters that led NOAA to this aggressive forecast. The most important factor is that the El Nino phenomenon seems to have dissipated in the Pacific Ocean region. In the coming weeks, NOAA will declare that we are in neutral ENSO conditions. Additionally, during this summer, and for the peak of the season, it is anticipated that the La Nina phenomenon will develop. The absence of the El Nino phenomenon means less wind shear in the Atlantic Basin thus favoring the formation and development of tropical cyclones. As we can see in the projections of global models, during the peak of the season between August, September and October, the La Nina phenomenon is expected to be present in the Pacific. Unlike last year, wind shear will be reduced in the Caribbean region. Historically, the Atlantic hurricane season under neutral ENSO conditions or the La Nina phenomenon favors the formation of tropical cyclones and major hurricanes. In the latest ENSO projection, NOAA projects a 77% chance of having the La Nina phenomenon for the months of August, September, and October about a 20% chance of having neutral conditions, and almost zero chance of having the El Nino phenomenon. NOAA comments that we continue to be in an era of high cyclonic activity in the Atlantic Basin, which began in 1995. During this era, we have had several hurricane seasons with higher than usual activity. This has been influenced by the North Atlantic Ocean temperatures that have remained above normal in recent decades. That is precisely what we currently have in the Atlantic Ocean. However, anomalies in the tropical region, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico are at values never observed before. Currently, the tropical Atlantic region has temperatures typical of the months of August and September. These are the hottest temperatures recorded during the month of May in previous years. Global model projections continue to indicate that these above-normal temperatures should persist in August, September, and October, especially in the Caribbean region and between the Caribbean and Africa, in the area known as the main development region. This is where most hurricanes, especially major hurricanes, develop. Other important factors for predicting a very active hurricane season are that the trade winds moving across the tropical Atlantic have remained below normal. It is projected that they will continue this way during the peak of the season. This helps the formation of tropical cyclones between the Caribbean and Africa. Additionally, below normal trade winds and the development of the La Nina phenomenon in the Pacific together create conditions of below normal wind shear, 
which will open the opportunity for hurricanes to enter the Caribbean region with favorable conditions for significant strengthening. NOAA also comments that the African monsoon trough will be more active than usual this year over Western Africa. This will help the formation of strong tropical waves that will have very favorable conditions to develop and form as they move westward across the Atlantic. As if that weren't enough, it is also projected that the Azores' high pressure will be stronger than usual this summer. This would favor more westward tracks, increasing the risk of impact for the Caribbean, Central America, the United States, and Mexico. You can see in this image how the precipitation anomaly projections suggest a very rainy tropical Atlantic. This could be associated with the passage of tropical waves and cyclones through this area. Also, note the Caribbean Sea region with very significant precipitation anomalies above normal. If we now move to the eastern Pacific region, NOAA is projecting a below normal season. There is a 60% chance that the hurricane season will be below normal, a 30% chance of being near normal, and only a 10% chance of being more active than usual. They are projecting between 11 to 17 tropical storms, 4 to 9 hurricanes, and 1 to 4 major hurricanes. Normally, there are 15 storms, 8 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes. What are the reasons for predicting a below normal season? The most important factor is that the La Nina phenomenon will be present for the peak of the season. This increases wind shear in the eastern Pacific region, making it difficult for tropical cyclones to form. Additionally, as you can see here in blue colors, it is projected that the sea surface temperatures off the west coast of Central America and Mexico will be near or below normal. This will also hinder the formation and strengthening of cyclones in this area. And although this seems to be good news for the Mexico region, unfortunately, it also means that the northeast and north of Mexico will receive less rain than usual this summer. This could worsen the drought problems they are facing. Note that for the southern half of Mexico, more rain than usual is expected, probably associated with tropical cyclones that will form in the Caribbean region and move over Central America and the Yucatan Peninsula. Well, that's all for this video. I also wanted to invite you to consider supporting my project by becoming a sponsor, where you can receive some additional benefits. If you're interested, visit the link that says join, click on it, and see the different sponsorship levels. Any help will be welcome. So, until the next video that I will be recording in the coming days, see you later.